Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about the problem. Adrian Broner versus John Molina. Now understand, Molina is a very heavy puncher. If you don't know that, then I encourage you to look at round 10 of his fight against Mickey Bay. He was losing that fight. His only hope in that fight was to get a stoppage. And he stepped in and did just that. Hit Mickey Bay with bombs. I'm not sure if Mickey Bay remembers parts of that 10th round. Right? Molina hits awfully hard. The problem is he's predictable. He is a mid-range hooker. Right? He is there at the chessboard trying to play chess with you. He doesn't care if you're better with the moves or whatever. He just wants to get off one or two clean shots. Right? He's a puncher. He has a puncher's mindset. Now, he's been fighting elite competition. Lucas Matisse and a fighter who, a little bit older, right, in terms of experience, who used to be one of my favorite fighters, Umberto Soto. He lost both of those two recent matches. Now he's in against Adrian Broner. Let's just say John Molina cannot be accused of dodging anyone. This is a guy taking the hard road. Put another way, Mickey Bay, after getting stopped by Molina in the 10th round, actually went on to win the lightweight title. Mickey Bay has a belt right now. In other words, John Molina has fought and beaten a lightweight champion and has followed that up by fighting Lucas Matisse and Umberto Soto. I believe against Adrian Broner, he's going to have a big problem. I think he's tailor-made for Broner. I think Adrian Broner stops him inside of the distance. Right? Now, <clears throat> the bet I'm going to recommend, given the odds, because the odds allow it, right, is Adrian Broner simply to win the fight, hedged with Molina by KO, right? Understand, Molina straight up in this fight is a 7-1 to one underdog. For Molina by KO, you should get better than the 8-1 to one that Broner is a favorite, right? So you should be able to have a sliver of a profit margin. But for those of you who want higher risk, I don't see why Broner can't close the show here. Let me go one step further. Broner might have to close the show. Because I've seen photos of Broner between fights. And Broner looks much bigger. I mean much bigger than 140. He recently beat Emmanuel Taylor. Now, you might recall that Taylor is a fighter who Chris Algieri was praising, right? Because Taylor was Algieri's biggest scout before Algieri fought Rishlan Provotnikov, right? Emmanuel Taylor decorated amateur career. He fought Adrian Broner. He lost to Broner. He got dropped in the 12th round of that fight. But if you look at the CompuBox numbers, you're going to notice that Taylor actually threw more punches than Broner in rounds 11 and 12. When you see a guy like Broner, who fought Marcus Maidana at welterweight, right, who walks around much heavier than 140, I believe Broner's going to have problems with stamina if this fight lingers into the 10th, 11th, 12th rounds. Understand, Molina's punching power never dissipates, right? He stopped Mickey Bay in round 10. He's always going to be a threat. So Broner, if Broner isn't confident in his own stamina, might try to set a pace to take this guy out of there early because keep in mind, Molina is going to be right in front of him. Now Broner it's like Mayweather in terms of accuracy, right? Broner's not a volume guy. Broner typically throws, let's say, 40 to 45 punches around. 
Broner's forte isn't a great jab or what have you. It's actually his accuracy. He lands close to 50% of his power shots. And it's his defense. Right? I think what you're going to see is Broner here try to get inside. Right? Inside of Molina's hooks. Molina needs to throw hooks. That's how he generates leverage. He's not a guy who gets a lot of leverage on straight punches. Broner has an opportunity here, right, to set up his defense so he blocks everything coming from the outside and then is able to split the uprights with power shots, power shots in which he's very accurate. So I'm expecting Broner to win this fight by KO. Keep in mind, too, this is a early fight in the new boxing series that's been put together for NBC, Spike, etc. Right? And so I'm guessing, since Broner now is no longer on HBO or Showtime, since he's part of a new venture in front of a bigger audience, Broner's going to want to put on an even bigger show right Molina not a lot of mystery to him you know he's gonna come in you know he's gonna be throwing power shots trying to take you out you also know that if he doesn't take you out guys like Mickey Bay can outbox him by a wide margin understand Broner if you look at his fights he's not just barely losing these fights He's getting beaten by, let's say, Umberto Soto by wide margins on the judges' scorecards, right? So he's going to be in there, and it'll be an interesting situation, right? Because he knows he's not going to be able to outbox Adrian Broner, right? The problem, though, is he doesn't throw punches from weird angles like Marcus Maidana does. Right? Keep in mind, too, Maidana, an argument can be made, is an actually bigger man than Molina, right? Who fought Mickey Bay at 135. So I'm expecting a shootout here, but I'm expecting Adrian Broner to win. Broner's career will be in crisis if he loses, especially to a guy who loops his punches like Molina does. Right? So I like Broner in this one. Um... I think Broner sh shows us some power. I think Broner is big for 140 pounds. I think this is the kind of fight where you need to look closely at the weigh-in to see the shape Broner comes in at. Right? If Broner looks like he's just, you know, left the sauna, if he looks like he hasn't had a glass of water for 48 hours before the weigh-in, you might want to keep your hands in your pocket and not bet on this. But if Broner shows up looking like he's trained, looking ready, then my prediction is that Broner wins this fight easily, right? I'm expecting Broner to win it inside of the distance, understand at the time of the stoppage. I'm expecting Broner to be far ahead on the judges' scorecards, right? The more conservative play I'm recommending is Broner simply to win, hedged with Molina by KO, I'm expecting Molina to hit the canvas, though, in this one. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.